Well, today we're kicking off a mini spring season here and uh, we're gonna focus mostly in Florida. Today we're in South Florida, we are in Davie, Florida, which is... Continue on Southwest 142nd Avenue, kind three quarters of a kind mile. Of, kind of Southwest of Fort Lauderdale. And uh, we're kicking off the, the spring in Florida uh, season. And we might go into Georgia, even Tennessee, maybe. Who knows? I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. This is the Davey Fort Lauderdale KOA, a mere 33 miles from home base in Miami, yet we had never been here before. Yeah, the sites have nice tables and this lounger here, very nice. Well, we're having a moonlit picnic. Good night. Well, good morning. We're gonna do some grilling for breakfast because that's how we roll. I'm cooking some lobster tails. Yep. All right, we're gonna make it a surf and turf. So I put some bacon too. And, uh, whoops, bacon is sticking. Yeah, we, we still got a, a little bit to go on, the, on especially on this one. So I'm gonna turn the lobster, lobster, like they say in Bahaba. And we're gonna do a little bit of butter. Let's turn this bacon too, by the way. Yeah. And yeah, it it's a little more cocktion. And I had a generous amount of butter. This one. Oops, no, 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 don't go away. Don't go away, butter. That, oops, it went away. This butter is melting, like really quick. So, that. There, that should be good enough. We'll get that butter melt and in a couple of minutes, it's gonna be ready. Then we'll add some paprika at the end. Mm. This is gonna be so good. Oh yeah. Let's go for a little ride. We were totally gonna spend the day at the campground, relaxing, enjoying the amenities, but it is us you're talking about, so we're going to Hollywood instead. Hollywood Beach, Florida, and its famous Broadwalk. But first, let's stop by the historic downtown shopping district. We haven't been here in quite a while. There are a bunch of cool shops, bars, restaurants, nightclubs. In fact, some years back I used to perform sporadically at one of them. Check it out, Spice. Many moons ago, I sang here a couple of times. That's before RVing. I think we're gonna have a beer at Twin Peaks. I don't know. After a 
refreshing funky Buddha. I think we're going to continue towards the beach. Oh no, drawbridge. This, by the way, historic Hollywood Beach Resort, dating back to 1925. It is allegedly haunted, and unfortunately it seems to have fallen into disrepair in recent years, but it still looks majestic from the outside. It must have been the place to be back in its heyday. We are hopelessly looking for parking, which on a day like today, Saturday, perfect hot weather, it's going to be nearly impossible. It is indeed a beautiful day, perfect beach weather. I've been able to park on some of these side streets before, but not today. Check out the Margaritaville Resort here on the right. Nowadays, that's probably the place to be. Let's try our luck here at the parking garage. There seem to be some spots available on the fifth level. Not even here on the top level. Oh wait, it is our lucky day! Wonderful views from the top floor. There's the Intracoastal Waterway and downtown Fort Lauderdale. People playing racquetball, people looking for parking, and the rest enjoying the beach. Here we are at the famous Hollywood Broadwalk. Well, it was kind of a miracle but we found parking there at, the, at that uh, garage. And now we're just gonna walk around a little bit, see if we find uh, something to drink, something to eat. And it's one of those, you know, it's a perfect weather day here in South Florida on the Hollywood Broadwalk. I think these days I like Hollywood Beach even more than Miami Beach. I mean, you don't have the cute Art Deco hotels, but the sand is right there, right in front of all the businesses. And the pedestrian broadwalk makes all the difference. Open till 4 a.m. Check out the Flow Rider Surf Machine. That seems to be a lot of fun if you can remain standing. The Earthstream Bar is closed. Mm, that's kind of a bummer. The Lone Palm Beach Bar is open and this is one of our favorite places here. They have the best margaritas. And we're at Margaritaville. Whew. Well, that was fun, Margaritaville, it's always fun and they probably have the best margaritas on the Broadwalk. We've been here before, I think twice. And uh, yeah. And those chips were good too. Oh yeah, perfect weather here in Hollywood Beach and uh, everybody, you know, everybody's social distancing on the sand, of course, and on the water. Now the water is probably a little chilly, still. Uh, we're still in, in March here. But yeah, beautiful day on the beach. Yeah, the tight zoom lens makes it look much more crowded than it really is.
very tempting. This Mamacitas Mexican, it's really good too. You have live music. We're gonna start heading back to the parking lot, and the broadwalk is certainly happening today. When I grow up, I want one of those. We're gonna go a little farther north towards Dania Beach. That's the Dania Beach Pier, and this one is a little less crowded, but not by much. This is the type of weather that draws all the locals out here. We're gonna stop by the Dania Beach Casino, but... What happens at the casino, stays at the casino. We've never been to that relatively new casino shaped like a guitar, so let's check out the Seminole Hard Rock real quick. It almost looks like something that belongs in Vegas with the light beam. And inside, it's very nice too. They've got this fancy fountain and all these large screens. And uh, we were thinking of getting something to eat here, but we have burgers back at the campground, so that's what we're gonna do. It turned it off. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna be good. There we go. Yeah, baby. It's gonna be so good. Five more minutes. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, this was a fun weekend. Probably the closest to, to, to Pelican headquarters we've ever camped. But it was fun. It was a fun weekend. We shall do it again. And this KOA, not bad. Looks like it is under. Just making sure we didn't leave anything. Looks like it's undergoing renovations, but other than that, and other than the take the next right, the occasional unsightly RV, you know, it's it's fine. So um, I have no idea where we're going next, but until then, thank you so much for watching. I see you on the road. She keeps interrupting me.
riding in my RV Wherever I want to be And cause I'm free in my RV